And that's awesome because it helped me in the last two weeks to really jump in at a competitive level. So I want to say thank you to Game Tracker. So Game Tracker attempted to do his usual overnight tip before a Street Fighter 6 stream, and he had some stuff to say. And PayPal froze his tip and says that they're investigating it. Now, this has happened before, and I have absolutely no idea what causes this because this has happened to various people. There have been people who've sat and, and, and supported my streams daily for years and never had an issue, and then there'll be someone who'll come in and tip a dollar tip randomly and get it frozen. And there doesn't seem to be any consistency to it why it happens. I have no idea why his tip froze. And he even said to me, he wrote me an email. He's like, I'm sorry, you know, because this sucks. He says, you know, I can't just continuously tip and tip and tip and have them all go on hold. I obviously, especially if some of these might unfreeze, you know, I can't, <laughs> I can't keep doing it. I'm like, yeah, Game Checker, no problem. I understand. Like, I don't want you to keep tipping and having them all frozen. And all of a sudden, 10 tips unfreeze down the line. And it's hundreds of bucks. Like, that's crazy. So, essentially, he did a big tip today, right? It was his usual $29.99 tip that he does overnight. Usually, it's a $30 tip. We play an animation and everything. But it's frozen. Since it's frozen, I can't apply it to the stream. There may be a chance that, sadly, uh, they're going to end up... Um, what can I say? They're going to end up, like, not clearing it. Now, I don't know why PayPal wouldn't clear it. It doesn't seem to make sense that they wouldn't. But you never know with this damn thing. You know what I mean? Like... You just don't know. So, being that this happened, okay, I'm going to do a shout out for Game Tracker, and I'm going to read his message and everything. Um, however, I'm not going to count it as part of our funding for the stream because that would be kind of dishonest because we don't even know if it's going to clear eventually. You know, not to say that was this would be his fault or anything, but we don't know why it got frozen in the first place. Okay. So, thank you very much. To Game Checker, here's what Game Checker has to say. Here's what he wanted to say. More Street Fighter. I have to say, of all the characters you played, the one I keep looking forward to see again play most is actually Lily. Let's see how you do with her today on a different note. I want to mention you misspoke slightly your last podcast episode. You said you got 11 wins and one loss when you were in Gold Wank with Marisa. Actually, if you look at the left side of the Google Doc, I'm actually counting casual matches separately from rank. The 11 wins and one loss were casual. The 37 wins, 21 losses were the totals for your ranked play that day. Okay, so I, I misspoke during the podcast. Not that it's a huge deal, but yeah, I dominated in the casual matches. That said, I'm including the casual matches in your overall counts of wins and losses. Good, because you, obviously you should, because that's still gameplay where I was learning the character. Okay, so thank you. Game Checker, I'm excited today. Like I said, with, with Lily, unlike Blanca, where I was like off the mark of what I was doing with Blanca for his combos, it seems like with Lily, pretty much what I was doing is what everyone else is doing, except that they're using a little bit different normals. Like I said, there a lot of people are using very close standing short and then bunch of low jabs after. It seems like a better hit confirm because the standing short seems to have better priority up close. And also it's a it's an option select where you can either do 360 throw after it, or you could do the combo, or you could bait a jump because they think you're going to 360 throw. And then you do the rising, uh, I, I call it rising condor, but I guess in this one it's called tomahawk buster. Um, yeah, you could do o OD tomahawk buster to knock him out of the air there. Um, which is a, a good bait, you know, a good punish. Um, and then uh, the combo. Like I said, any time that you seem to be able to do meter burn, uh, what do they call it, Condor Spire, after it hits, you can immediately cancel into level 1 super, which I didn't know, but I now I know. Also, you can cancel into level 2 super, apparently. You can cancel into either one. Um, and I wasn't doing that, and that's a lot of potential missed damage that I wasn't getting, uh, because I was actually hitting that quite a bit, but not following up with it. But outside of that... Um, Pretty much everything that I'm doing with her is good. I, like I said, maybe I'll use her low fierce punch a little bit more. A lot of people seem to be throwing out low fierce a lot and getting counter hits off of it. You know, almost from scratch, learning this combo, this fierce, fierce, and then crouch into the launch fierce, and then follow up's timing after that. I'm going to have to practice that a little bit in training mode today, see if I can figure it out. But um, yeah, thank you, Game Tracker. Sorry your tip didn't come through. It's frozen, so I can't count it towards today's stream. And also, let's hope that sadly this isn't a pattern. You know, I don't know what causes. PayPal to select certain tips and freeze them. And just so everyone knows, no, they're not freezing all my tips because I got another one right now we're going to shout out. I actually got a tip this morning that went through fine. No freezing. So again, it's just something that's something to do with. Um, all right. So I received a $4.20 tip.